channel, it's your girl Rachel, and in today's video, I am going to go over with you guys some of my favorite tools for QA engineers. So, if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to give you a few seconds to grab your snacks, tea, and I'd appreciate if you like this video before we get rolling. I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite tools for QA engineering that I've used throughout college and I even use to this day some of them. So I'm just going to dive right into things. So one of my favorite tools that I've used since college that I've used in my courses with fellow classmates that I even graduated with. So Microsoft Teams is a wonderful tool to look into. Now I'm just, I'm not going to tell you everything about each tool, but I'm going to just point out a few of my favorite features. So with Microsoft Teams, I think one of the biggest takeaways of this tool is the fact that you can screen share. If you're on a video call with somebody, you can give them permission to take over your screen and click on tools, applications, browsers that you have going on on your desktop. So I think that is a very useful feature and probably my favorite when it comes to Microsoft Teams. I also think it's really useful because they also have the regular screen calls as well and they also have a mobile application which is pretty useful if you're on the go too. So another tool that I really enjoy throughout my QA engineering is Jira. I think that is hands down one of the most useful tools that not even just a QA engineer might use. Jira might be one of the most useful tools for almost any tech company. It could be useful for your developers, project managers, anybody that's involved on the project itself. Jira is great. And I think my favorite feature about Jira would have to be the Kanban board feature. I really like that you can just lay out your workflow and see what's in progress, what needs to be worked on, or even what tasks are done. Now I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new tool that I've been introduced to recently in 2020, and I think this is a very useful and powerful tool for not only just your team, but this tool is really going to be useful for your clients as well. So I'm going to give you a demo of this tool. I'm going to explain some really cool features about this, and I'm going to explain the importance of this application and how this can be used in your day-to-day -day routine, workflow, however you want to use this tool. I think this is very powerful. So let's dive into this. Okay, so the first thing I did is set an invitation link to myself. And once you click on that, you can see the Kanban board right away, which is so great because you can quickly, easily add a task just by clicking that add a new task button. And you can fill out the details, you can assign it to whoever you need to, you can mark the severity, change the status if you like, add a few hashtags, and boom, look at that. That was so great. I love how the information is just displayed so easily. And this is the website link that I sent to test. So the thing about this, you can click on any feature that you want. And for instance, I just clicked on the paragraph because maybe I might want to change the font here. You can change it to however you want. If you want to make the font bolder, you can add those details here. You can assign it to whoever you need to. Add those details for the severity and status. And there you go. It's as easy as that. And that's what I really love about this tool because you don't even need to have any crazy technical experience to use this. And that's the best part about how user-friendly this is. And this is going to be a very powerful tool for your clients as well because as you can see they can mark up the website how they want they can add boxes text whatever they want to change they can make it possible and they can make it simple and as easy as capturing a few screenshots adding that test detail and it'll get sent directly over to that kanban board that we saw earlier so i'm going to leave all the information for bug her down below in the description box and you can also access the new Chrome extension as well. So I'll leave the information in there. Let me know what you like. All right. So another useful tool that I think has also been helpful throughout my college life has been Trello. Trello is very user friendly. And not only that, but it can integrate with other tools and applications such as Jira. Trello can integrate with Jira, which is pretty useful. Another feature that is really 
great about Trello is just like Jira, it has that Kanban board feature. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I just love being able to have all my workflow just displayed nicely so I can see where everything is, what needs to be worked on, so I can organize it to how I want it to be, or just it's more organized for the company too. So these are some really great tools to look into. And I also have one more bonus tool. So you ready? You ready for the bonus? Okay. So my bonus tool that I'm going to leave you guys with today is using Postman. Postman is a very powerful and useful tool when it comes to quality assurance, learning how to set up some of your tests, whether if it may be like a regression test or something that you're trying to run with. Postman is really helpful for also testing your APIs as well. So I'm going to leave some of this information down below in the description box. I'm also going to be leaving you all the information for Bug Herd down below in the description box as well so that you guys can get a little insight as to that. You guys can even get started. There is a free trial, so I would really recommend looking into that because this might be one of the latest, greatest tools, extensions that could help your productivity across your company and it will also make your life a lot easier. Okay, so these are my favorite tools that I've been using throughout my QA engineering lifestyle here. So, if I missed any of your favorite tools, leave those comments down below. You know, don't be stingy. Share your knowledge and wealth with the community. Let us know what you think is helpful. If you think that any of the tools that I mentioned is helpful in your day-to-day -day workflow, whether if it's in real life or if it's just your personal hobby that you're doing on your own for your own separate individual projects, let me know what tools have been useful for you. And also, be sure to leave some comments down below as to what topics you'd like for me to cover next. And if you're already part of the family at what are you doing? Smack that subscribe and bell notification button so that you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time.